Hey everyone, this is Alan. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to actually talk about something I recently learned that for me has been a lifesaver, and that is how to quickly add a lifeline to your knitting. Um, if you haven't used a lifeline before, it's just a way where you take a piece of thread or yarn and run it through the row of stitches that you're currently working on and tying it off separate from your knitting so that if for some reason you make a mistake or have some critical failure in your knitting and you need to rip out, you'd only need to rip back out to where that lifeline is placed because all your stitches will be on that lifeline and you can easily put them back onto your needle and kind of start from there and move forward once again. To add a lifeline, one of the quickest ways to do it is just to take a darning needle with a piece of yarn and just, you know, kind of work your way through all the stitches. It takes a few minutes. It's not terribly time consuming, but there is one quicker way if you happen to be using an interchangeable needle set that has this hole built in at the end of the cable, as you can kind of see here, hopefully. So what you can do is insert a piece of thread here and knit your work around. And as you're doing that, it's placing the lifeline into the work as you're just naturally knitting. So you're not having to take any extra steps. So it moves along pretty quickly. I will note that when I bought these interchangeable needles and these are Chow Goo, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about, they are pretty cool to use. Um, one of their points that they tout for their needles is that they have this ability to add a lifeline very quickly and easily. However, did they tell you how to do it? I didn't find any instructions on how to do it. And maybe it's so simple that they think it's very straightforward. I'll be honest, it wasn't very straightforward for me, or at least I didn't quite understand how to go about it being a new knitter. So after doing a lot of research, and I was surprised how much research it, I had to do to even find the answer, um, it is kind of super super simple, but I thought I'd put a video out here today to help you if you maybe have the same question or trying to figure out how to do this for yourself. So what I'm going to use is a thin thread. So this is like a very thin um, cotton crochet thread. I find that this works really well for this purpose. If you have some other sort of thread that is small enough to at least fit through the hole on your interchangeable needle, by all means, please use that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thread and insert it into the hole in my needle. Great. And there I've inserted the thread through the needle. I'm just going to bring it around and just put a little knot in here just so that it's secure and won't come untied as I'm knitting. Okay. So there, I have that there. Um, I'm just going to push my needle back into my work. You'll have to push it on a little bit just because there is now that layer of crochet thread that's kind of intermixed in there at the moment. Um, I am going to put my stitch marker back on here as I begin this row. But now I'm going to do is just let that crochet thread hang off the back there and kind of take itself off from the, the um, cone of cotton that I have here. And I'm just going to begin knitting as normal and just kind of work my way around this row and just continue to push my stitches down as normal. And I will meet you back here at the end of this row and show you what has happened. So I have completed knitting around using my interchangeable needles working in the round. I attach my piece of crochet thread to my interchangeable needle onto the right working needle. I just knit it around as I normally would. I'm just coming back to my stitch marker here. I have one last stitch to complete. I have my slip marker. I'm just going to take that off for a second. And as I pull out my working needle, what you're going to see is, and you do have to get it over kind of that knot in the crochet thread. I now have worked all the way around and inserted a lifeline. So on the left hand side, if you look, you can kind of see that crochet thread running through my knitting. And I've now returned on the right hand side here. I'm just going to cut this off from my interchangeable needle. I'm going to take this end and make sure that you have plenty of slack in your knitting. So 
I even leave a little extra just so that later on I can stretch this out and the lifeline isn't cinching up my knitting. And so I'm just gonna cut off this knot at this end. Take a little bit longer length of the crochet thread over here. And I'm just gonna tie the crochet thread ends together. So now that I've tied off my lifeline and I have that inserted, I can just continue knitting as normal. If for some reason I needed to rip out my work, I would only need to rip back out to this point where I have the lifeline. I would then use this lifeline as a guide to take my needles and slip them back into all the loops from the row where the lifeline is at. Um, it's a really great savior. Um, if you're spending a lot of time and doing a lot of knitting, um, to have a point at which you could rip back to confidently and get all the stitches quickly back onto your needles um, is something that I personally, you know, find very helpful and useful. Um, I find myself adding lifelines periodically throughout my work, usually after a major milestone in my knitting, um, something that was maybe more complicated or complex that if I had to rip out all those stitches, it would pain me to have to do that. And so I just put them in periodically. Um, in this case, I would usually do it after I've completed the neckline, after, um, before and after I'm about to separate for the sleeves. And then if there's any intricate knitting that I'm doing, I would do one probably before and after that section of knitting so that I have some boundaries within which I could easily rip back to I hope you found this video on inserting a lifeline using your interchangeable needles to be helpful. Um, if you did, please like the video. And if you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel, lots more great things coming your way. Thanks for joining me today. It's been great. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.